The NBA sees new stars emerge every season, with the most improved player discussion typically featuring a healthy mix of promising young players coming into their own or veterans finding a new gear after several years in the league. But rarely does one of the league's most improved players come quite as out of nowhere as Lowry Markkanen has this year. In his first season in Utah, the Finnish star hasn't merely discovered a new gear. He's put together one of the most shocking and impressive mid-career glow-ups in NBA history. Marketing drives pain. Oh! When I say Markkanen came out of nowhere this year, I obviously don't mean as an NBA player in general or even as a good one. The Bulls drafted him 7th overall in 2017, he averaged nearly 19 points per game as a sophomore during the 2018-19 season, and he was a solid starter for a 44-win Cavs team last year. But entering his 6th pro season on his 3rd different team, and after being included in the mammoth package of players and picks Cleveland sent to Utah for Donovan Mitchell, it felt like Markkanen was somewhat of a known commodity. He was a good shooting big man who could give you about 15 points a night, and he was an improving but still flawed defender. On the whole, Markkanen entered this season as a pretty solid starter, but he was a complimentary piece in a league that revolves around a constellation of superstars. They're all just spokes on a wheel. In other words, he was replaceable. Now he's anything but that for a jazz team that will revolve around him in the coming years. Markkanen has earned that trust. Through three quarters of the season, the seven foot forward was averaging more than 25 points per game while flirting with a 50-40-90 season. Shooting 51% from the field, including nearly 60% from two point range, 41% from deep, and 88% from the free throw line. He is on fire. His playmaking can still use work as he's once again recording more turnovers than assists, but you'd have to think his vision will improve as he continues to get used to having the ball in his hands this much. Plus, his individual turnover rate is still pretty low for a high usage player, as the ball's most likely destination when Markkanen has it is the basket. There's Markkanen. His 8.5 rebounds per game may not sound like much for a player his size, but you have to remember that Markkanen is a forward, and his rebounding rates actually put him in elite company among the players who play his position. Markkanen's defense has regressed a bit after an improvement on that end of the floor in Cleveland, but at least the effort is there. And in general, it's tough to nitpick the rest of his game when he's become an absolute scoring machine. Among the 40 players averaging 20 plus points this season, only Nikola Jokic, Kevin Durant, and Steph Curry are scoring more per shot attempt than Markkanen. The guy has been unstoppable from every area of the court, even from his worst shooting area the long mid-range zone, Markkanen is still in the 70th percentile among forwards, according to Cleaning the Glass. Markkanen and Damian Lillard are on track to join Curry, Durant, Jokic, and Charles Barkley as the only qualified scorers and three-point shooters to average 25 plus points on 65% true shooting or better in a single season. Now you understand why Markkanen has earned nicknames like Lowry Bird and The Finisher. Finish him! Going back to that last statistical benchmark, consider the Hall of Fame names keeping Markin in company. Lillard entered this season as a six-time All-Star and six-time All-NBA, with a reputation as one of the greatest scorers of his generation. Jokic achieved the feat in what was his second straight MVP campaign. Curry and Durant already had MVPs to their name when they joined the 25-65 club. Barkley, like Markkanen, was a 25-year-old first-time All-Star when he posted the first such season in 1987-88. But he was also coming off a sophomore campaign that saw him average 20 points on 57% shooting. Barkley was supposed to be a rising superstar. Markkanen, on the other hand, is having an offensive season for the ages after averaging 15 points over his first five years in the league. This kind of breakup from average starter to bona fide offensive superstar in year six just doesn't happen in the NBA. Markkanen's stunning rise is the biggest reason why Utah is still playing meaningful basketball in March. After turning Mitchell and Rudy Gobert into a boatload of lesser players and picks, the Jazz were supposed to be one of this season's most shameless tankers. Instead, they're hovering around 500 and are very much in the thick of the Western Conference playoff race. 
Now, marketing obviously hasn't done it alone. Veterans like Jordan Clarkson, Kelly Olynyk, and the recently traded Mike Conley helped a ton. Rookie center Walker Kessler has been a revelation, and rookie head coach Will Hardy looks like an innovative tactician. But Markkinen's fingerprints are all over this surprising season in Utah. With their newfound star on the court, the Jazz perform like a top three overall team. When Markkinen sits, Utah plays like a bottom five team. In addition to all of the extra draft picks, rookies Kessler and Ochai Abaji, and Coach Hardy, Utah's foundation will be built on Markkinen's shoulders. The Jazz have the 25-year-old All-Star under contract through 2025 at an average salary of less than $18 million per season. So it's a really great bang for your buck. On one hand, Markkinen's ascension to stardom is a reminder of how important role, fit, and opportunity are in determining the trajectory of an athlete's career. Not to mention health, as Markkinen has played 57 of Utah's first 63 games this season after missing more than a quarter of his team's games through his first half decade in the NBA. On the other hand, Lowry Markkinen is one of one, a true outlier when it comes to star development. Sure, there are plenty of seemingly average NBAers who could do more if given the chance, but there aren't many players out there who can go from seemingly average to having one of the greatest scoring seasons in basketball history overnight. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button.